10 wins, record for the program. Talk about how proud you are of this program where it's going. Well, I'm extremely proud. I mean, I think that these guys have worked for everything that they've got this year. It's just nice when a team that works this hard and is so together gets to be rewarded. And to have 10 wins like they did in such spectacular fashion and now to have this next opportunity is fantastic. Talk about what it means for the program to go to Birmingham and to be able to play an SEC opponent to cap this season. Well, it's really exciting. I got a chance to talk to the executive director earlier. You know, we played in the first bowl game there, and now we're 10 years later, we're back. It's really exciting, and I think, to play a program like South Carolina, uh, have a chance to compete with those guys on a national stage. It's something that really this group has worked for and excited to watch them play. You got a bowl game that's drivable, eight hours. Easy to fly to from Tampa. How important is the Bulls Nation shows up and supports this team? It's critical. It's critical for the, the game itself to help our guys, you know, to get over the top. But also just, just to show that we are indeed behind this football team in every way possible in the future. You never know, and all those things are very important. But be very important to have Bulls Nation there. We showed up big time in the Miami Beach Bowl. We know we can do it again. Chris, tell us what do you know about South Carolina and what, do you, what kind of opportunities this present for the Bulls defense? Uh, as soon as I heard that we're going to play them, you know, I looked up some of their stats and stuff. You know, they have a pretty good offense. They're a pretty good team, uh, and they play hard. And, you know, we're just excited to, you know, get our name out there, like you said, and earn some respect like we've been trying to do all year. Tell me about this thought. I would say it's about an eight-hour drive for Bulls fans and a short flight. Talk about the importance of the Bulls fans, uh, Bulls Nation coming out to support us at the bowl game in Birmingham. Uh, it's huge. You know, we always say there's there's four parts of the game, offense, defense, special teams, and the fans. So if the fans can come out and, and support us, that's huge. We always play better at, at home, and if they make it like it's home, then that would be a big-time deal. Bruce, tell us, the, the last three games, the defense has really taken steps every game and improved, including two big road stops on the road to salvage, to, to maintain wins. Tell us about the goals of this defense for the next three weeks as we prepare for the bowl game. Uh, you know, just keep building off of what we did those last three games. You know, just uh, keep working together, working hard. And you know, just you know, continue continue to buy into everything that we're uh, trying to build here, and just go out and have a great game. Birmingham, what do you think? Uh, excited, you know, uh, one of my favorite places, especially for barbecue. Um, Dreamlands barbecue is one of my favorite. I know every time I go to Birmingham, I stop by Dreamland, so I'm really excited to stop by there. But excited about the bowl game, having an opportunity to play at SEC school, South Carolina. Uh, it's going to be nice. It's a nice reward for a team that's worked very hard this year also. Absolutely. I guys deserve it. Uh, they worked really hard. Got an opportunity to win 11 ball games. Um, got a chance to get better from last year's bowl, bowl game, learn from that and, and get better. But for our guys to travel out of the state and, and um, go somewhere else and play a game against an SEC opponent is pretty big time. Historic location, too. They played some ball in Legion Field. They have a lot, a lot of football there, and, and I think our guys right now, they probably don't know much about it, but once they get there, I think they'll get even more fired up about it. What has been the team's reaction when they found out today? Well, they're excited. You know, I think a lot of the guys wanted to go to the Birmingham. Just as you hear the talk throughout the week, they all, um, Coach, I wish we could go to Birmingham. Coach, I wish we could go to Birmingham. Well, we're going to Birmingham. Now we got to go put on the show. Take the show to Birmingham. So you get all excited. Now you got finals week, though. It's going to take a little time to, to kind of get into the preparation for this, is it not? It, it will. You know, we're letting our guys um, concentrate on the academics and finish strong in the classroom. And then we'll start um, practice on, on Sunday and, and get ready for uh, the bowl game then.